In this problem, we're told an aluminum bar has the desired length when at 18 degrees Celsius. How much stress is required to keep it at this length if the temperature increases to 35 degrees Celsius? So in this problem, what we're going to be doing is solving for stress. And you need to know the formula for it. It's going to be alpha times E times delta T. So I'll explain what each of these are. So alpha is basically the coefficient of thermal expansion, right? And we know that's different for each material. In this case, we're going to be talking about aluminum. So uh, for aluminum, it's basically 25 times 10 to the minus 6 uh, inverse degrees Celsius. So that's going to be that for this problem. E is basically what is known as Young's modulus. It's different for every material, just like uh, the coefficient of thermal expansion. In this case, for aluminum, it's 70 times 10 to the 9 uh, newton meters squared. So that's going to be this value. And then for delta T, right, they tell us we're going to go at 18 degrees Celsius, and then it's going to increase to 35. So if we want to find the change in it, it's going to be 35 minus 18, which just equals 17. So all we got to do is just plug these in to solve. So we have alpha, which is 25 times 10 to the minus 6. And then we've got E, Young's modulus, so 70 times 10 to the 9, and then times the change in temperature. So when you go ahead and do this, right, you're going to find that, right, so just plug in your calculator, 25 times 10 to the minus 6 times 70 times 10 to the 9, and then times it by 17. And so I'm just going to round this a bit, so you should get like 2975000. Uh, zero, 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 zero. I'm just going to round to 3, so it's going to be about 3 times 10 to the 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 times 10 to the 7. Keep in mind the units. This is in degrees Celsius. This was inverse degrees Celsius. And then this was uh, Newton meters squared. So these are just going to cancel. So your answer is just going to be in this unit. So uh, you're going to get 3 times 10 to the 7, rounded, of course. Right, so 3 times 10 to the 7 Newton per meter squared. So this right here is going to be your answer. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found this useful.